Alright, it's me. This is gonna be probably the second video today. I'm gonna move my beer over. Uh, so, hey, it's Anthem. How's it going, kids? Uh, so I got a good one for you, so I'm not gonna mention any names on it, but I will give the, uh, the space where this is happening at. So, I actually left just to distance myself from these people, just starting that one out right away. I mean, I could be having free rent, but I'm actually choosing to pay rent. I want that noted. I am choosing to pay rent versus have a free rent spot and be a piece of shit. Actually, that's not a strong enough word, but I don't want to, you know, keep going at it. Uh, basically, three of my ex-roommates decided that after we got an eviction notice, they were going to stay in the building and not go. You know, that's one thing, you know, renter's rights, blah, blah, blah. So what they did was, is they decided to stay. They basically flipped it to the landlord because the building's getting torn down. And, you know, that, you know, childish, pathetic, stupid, you know, pretty sad. And one of them was homeless beforehand. I felt bad for him. So I brought him in. There's some chick who left her boyfriend because, you know, some dumb bitch reasons. I never actually got a good reason on it other than she just didn't feel happy enough. No abuse, anything like that that I'm aware of. Uh, and the last guy, he's the piece of work. He's the one who catalyst all this. You know, picked up basically people who are going to be up on his side despite the fact that it was my decision. Unfortunately, it was me who made all this go on because I gave the endorsement of, yeah, you know, it seems like it'll work. Uh, but, yeah, basically, and this other guy who brought this about and did all that stuff, he actually had gotten another place, moved out, was an adult, and then he screwed that place up. Yeah, he did that. The dude worked nights, and so he slept during the day. The dude couldn't just walk 20 extra paces to the front part of a building to have a cigarette, or in the night when the dude's trying to, like, the midnight even here it's not even like a full night shift he's kind of like swing but he wouldn't just not turn the freaking light on or use a red light no not like a light bulb just a flashlight you can't if you can't make it 12 paces i based up in the house i can do it blindfolded i did that too by the way the same you can't go from your room to the bathroom without waking up someone who actually works for a living when you're just fucking off and living off some kind of trust fund or some bullshit uh you really just have problems so i was nice i let him back i shouldn't have done it you know, I, I can't help it. I have this bad thing of being a good person, helping people out. I need to quit doing it because it, it's only ended well for me once in the entire time it's happened. Well, twice, technically. Yeah, twice. Two times. In my entire life, helping people has only worked out good twice. And I have helped out a lot of people, tried to do the right thing, do all the good shit for people. But basically, they... So back to the story. They ended up... After I moved out, I got myself distanced. It. I actually had to seal off the house because they were trespassing in another building, business. I do security work for them periodically, you know, crap like that. And I had to seal that off. They refused to remove their stuff from a different address. They were trespassing, storing stuff illegally. They tried pulling all the uh, renters' rights, and we had to bring the police to make them do what we told what they were supposed to do. And then after that, it was a couple weeks later, um, so that was that part. And then before that, what the thing that actually caused the rift in between me and the other roommates was they wanted to start an art collective. It was probably eh, a month before the, the thing with the police and the movie shit. They wanted to start an art collective, and they were like, yeah, we're going to da-da-da-da-da, and this, that, and the other, because I was nice to one of them who showed him how to use an angle grinder. Yeah, you know, cool, polite, before everything went tits out. They tried to make me part of an art collective that they wanted to start in the building. So, you know, not paying any money to anybody, anything like that, just trying to squat. I told them no. And then there's all these stories about how I'm mean, evil, and I drink too much, other product placement. Uh mean, evil, and otherwise, and oh, duh, 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 duh. And they just kept whining and bitching to the actual landlords that were there. Not paying rent, not doing anything like that. I'm still paying my rent. I didn't know they'd quit at this point. And so I just basically moved out, extradited myself from it, and don't talk to them anymore. So after all that happened, it was a couple of weeks later, so, so a couple, about a month later, it was the uh, police and the get your shit out of the building or squat you're illegally holding. Because squatters' rights do not work on a different address than the place that you originally were living. It doesn't work that way. That's called trespassing, and that is against the law, and San Francisco, even San Francisco, does uphold this. So that was kind of a neat one. Uh, yeah, and so after that, we had mission, uh, like a couple of weeks after that, it was uh, somebody broke into one of the buildings and was living there, gave the, one of the roommates his name as why they were doing it. So, you know, that we couldn't really bring anything up on them, but we got that documented by the police. A couple weeks after, well, about a month after that, you know, two, three weeks, almost a month, they had a little uh, press conference, a woe is us, feel bad for us, about how, oh, we're losing our house and stuff like that out in front of the building. 
There's a sign out in front of the building right now that actually states what they did and are doing. They are in no way affiliated with Cell Space or any of that. They are straight up squatters who are trying to get money from people so they can stay somewhere or do something like that. I mean, if it works out for them, that's kind of fucked. I mean, I, might have, I, I made the right decision just integratively, just as a, you know, a decent person. But if they get paid to go somewhere else, that is so fucked, considering that their whole squatting thing and all is actually breaking down a deal for the actual business where they were renting from that stopped paying the money, the, the, the squatters to the business. Where it's going to be, you know, get some help moving into a new place and, you know, just stuff like that. It was, you know, pretty cool, decent little setup, we thought. Uh, so, yeah, they're basically trying to screw that up and then try and get money out of the community. I'm going to repost the, the, uh, the sign that's on the front door later on Facebook just to kind of knead it in. I'm tempted to start just chiming in on every Facebook post he does. Because he's basically just trying to fleece the community of people who are like, yeah, let's save cell space. He's just trying to get fucking money out of people. They're fucking con artist and his little douchebag friends. So, I don't know. Uh, that's one of those. Yeah, that's basically it. Basically, it went from me... They, I wouldn't help them, car, help them in their squatting endeavor, their art projects, or anything like that. Anything like that, because it was basically their entire... Oh, back to the art commune they wanted to start. That was basically... Um, they can paint things. I'm a blacksmith, metal worker, all that stuff. I have all my own tools, I have all my own stuff. You know, I have all the tools, all the, exp you know, the expensive shit. It's not like, oh, hey, let's go get like uh, five different colors of paint at the store. A couple of brushes or a stick or something to you know, paint with. Oh, I've got grinders, I've got blacksmithing setups, I've got all that stuff, and I can do, I can build everything from scratch. They realize after that, it's like, oh, well, great, we're, we can paint now. That's not a fucking, really a great art thing, because none of us are noble painters. So... Then it was at that point that they wanted to, uh, you know, they started just being dicky to me, saying that I was causing problems, shit like that, when I basically just picked up an Xbox and started ignoring them. Because I didn't want to deal with their bullshit. They got into a fight in the living room, two of them got into a fight in the living room with like a 13 year old woman, 13 year old kid there, and a little like 9 or 10 year old kid too. Just fucking bullshit. You know, I ended up having to break that up, that was fun. Oh, but yeah, it's just that kind of shit. They're basically squatting, trying to fleece the community for money, and it's just some stupid bullshit. Yeah, but that's life, you know. Squatters, douchebags, and assholes. You will live life, or you don't. But oh, well, this is Anthem, signing off. Uh, remember, no one's getting out of life.